Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. And just as I was turning my cup and reading pizza day and making sure you could see it, I suddenly realized my last piece of pizza that I made, what, a few weeks ago, is still in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, the last piece. Okay, now, when I was editing everything out here yesterday, I was, if you remember, I was trying to get this uh, rocker arm in, in place here. And uh, I was having difficulty with it, but, but when I was watching my video while I was editing, I was realizing that I, I had the push rod on the wrong side of the pressure release valve stem. I should have had it on the left side, and it was on the right side, I think, so we'll, we'll, retry, we'll retry that. And the plan is, I think I said this before, is I'm, I'm just going to do one of everything. There's actually six that we have to do, but I'm just going to do one cylinder, and uh, then I'm going to do the others off camera and just hurry up and get them done. Uh, that's the plan anyway. Uh, looks like we're having a bit of a nice sunrise this morning. Maybe I'll do something with it uh, this evening uh, or later. And, uh, uh, you know, I'll put it at the end of today's episode again. If I remember, if it works out, if it's worth looking at. No promises. What I did do last night, though, was I went through the the uh, color and, and marking guide. And uh, all my photos that I had snapped six ten months ago uh, and I digitized them a little better and by, by that I mean I lightened them every single photo that I had taken was too dark and and you would see me using them in the in the uh, episodes uh, occasionally almost every day but what you didn't know was that I had I had to lighten it now, fortunately, because I had taken it at a very high bit rate, I was able to lighten it, and it didn't really make a whole lot of difference. So, but I lightened it, absolutely every one, and uh, we now have the uh, entire manual and the entire painting and marking guide, including the one that is uh, the one that has the uh, the crew, the figures. Uh, that's that's not in this. It's on a separate sheet somewhere. I think over uh, over there somewhere. Uh, you know, I I don't know if I'm going to actually do the figures. That when I first got the kit, I thought, yeah, uh, it'll really really add to it. But uh, uh, I don't know if I'm going to. I think it's going to look impressive even without them. We'll see how it goes. But the only figure I'm going to put in is the one that uh, Gabe did. Of uh, of me, the uh, the uh, one sixty fourth scale figure. Uh, maybe just to show size perspective, uh, but as far as the other ones go, I I'm just afraid I'm going to make such a terrible mess of it. Oh, UK Jason was uh, was saying, are you going to weather this? And uh, I hadn't really thought about it, although I had I do recall seeing the photos where other people had weathered them and and some of them are so good that at first you think you're looking at a photograph of the real of the real thing uh i don't know it's a, it's a thought maybe a little bit of panel line accent color uh to give it sort of a greasy look you know uh i don't know uh it, it's a thought yeah it's a good thought too oh uk jason Congratulations on your, uh, yesterday you flipped over uh, uh, 10,000 subscribers. That's good. That's fantastic. Uh, well, I, I'm not surprised, actually. you got a great channel. Yeah, I, you're, uh, you know, those of you who, have, who don't watch uh, uh, Jason, his name is Jason Port, and he lives in the UK. And uh, yeah, he's got a, got this uh, show called the Model Kit Model Kit Stuff. And uh, what what is nice about Jason is he he doesn't get off the subject. He stays on modeling. My my model ship show is uh, <laughs> I 
Oh, a few years ago it was rabbits and then birds and then now Missy the dog and the motorcycle and uh, <laughs> I, I, people have suggested maybe I should change the name from model ship to <laughs> I forget. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I, I try to keep it. Uh, my life actually is is centered around this this build. I think about it a lot during the day. Even though I might only be be sitting here a total of two hours, <laughs> uh, but I uh, I uh, I think about it a lot. So it's it's uh, uh, getting these kits has really uh, helped fill my uh, kind of a void in my life since my wife died, uh, and ha or I guess about seven years ago now she had to go into the care home and then she died about five years ago well I guess almost six years ago now wow yeah it's almost six years ago where where is the time gone oh well let's not get into that I'm gonna start feeling depressed <laughs> okay yeah let's let's recompose and see if we can't uh, get our uh, our push rod stuck on the right side of the uh, pressure relief valve stem and uh, or I guess it'd be on the left side. <laughs> I should have said the correct side. <laughs> right, left. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, you know, uh, people that drive on the wrong side of the road. And they'll say, no, you drive on the wrong si side of the road. And I say, no, we drive on the right side. <laughs> oh, let's recompose. <laughs> Okay, I think that uh, possibly this is one of the things that threw me a bit yesterday. If you if you follow this pin down, the the point of the pin is resting in a little hole, and you you will notice that all the way along there are corresponding holes. Like there's another one here, another one here, and so on and so on. There's six of them. And I was thinking that that possibly the push rod, which I have lost, uh, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. That's a good way to break it. Um, okay, I thought that the uh, blue push rod actually went down in, one of the, in that hole, but I'm realizing now it, it doesn't. The, 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 the push rod probably rests off to one side and just sort of sits on the block there. What that hole is for, is for one of these. Okay, that is supposed to go in the hole. Um, and the push rod just rests somewhere wherever it happens to come on the, on the block. There is no positioning mark or anything like that. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just take this this pin out carefully here. Now we don't want to break our our cap off. And uh, now the, I had I had thought that the push rod had to go on the. These things are so flimsy. <laughs> okay, I was trying to put it on the right side of this of the spigot, and I think I should have been put trying to get it on the left side here, and forget about that hole. Or is it supposed to go on the outside? No, that, that wouldn't line up at all. Okay, I, it's going better today. Okay, let me just let me just turn this thing. You know what? I should stick the macro lens on. And uh, and use my uh, turntable here so that I can. Turn it back and forth and keep it in your field and view with the uh, macro lens on. And I'm starting to uh, think out loud again here. Okay, our point of interest is right here. And that is basically in the center of rotation. Okay, now we will stick on the macro lens.
Okay, now you can you can see here where this valve spring is supposed to go down into this hole right here. And this other part is supposed to go into that square hole. And they have to basically go in at the same time. No. Okay, now the, the, the spring is, is over the hole. I think that if I was to moisten the holes, I'm just trying to hold it down here. I don't want to be scratching this either. No, is is the is the push rod holding this from going down? Just let me check the where's the push rod coming? Yeah, you, can, you can see that the push rod is is right down there. Yeah, I think I think we can't get this to go down because the 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 bottom of the blue push rod is sort of resting on the engine there. Whoops! Careful, Ron. Careful. Sometimes when I've got my uh, magnification hood on, my peripheral vision is terrible, and I catch my hand on something. Um, should I maybe nip about a half a millimeter or less off the end of the push rod so it'll go down? Because once I start moistening this area with with glue. On the other hand, it, it could be that that if the spring and this and the square th part, you know, went down into the hole, into the the appropriate holes. Oh, here here is the other hole. Well, now that I'm looking up close, I can see it. That's the other for that other part that we have to put in. Okay, so that that's sort of all all making sense now, and then. You, right here and here go another one of these only it's a it's sort of a mirror image let me think about this for a minute okay after I took that last scene I looked into my monitor and I realized that the camera had I don't know if it had slumped itself down but you could couldn't really see what I was doing very well so I've I've actually pulled everything back up probably about five centimeters or so and uh, you know the old the old saying sometimes less is more now am I going to be having trouble again with dropping this thing all the time so in other words we're further away and everything is a little bit smaller but you're seeing more of it it's kind of like when I sometimes come in with my with my motorcycle and I'll I'll go from the you know 16 by 9 view to the uh, square view because the square view actually gives you whoops more of the of the top and the bottom I don't think I need to do this one yet okay Is that going to be too much? Well, it probably was. I'm I'm just making a real mess here, aren't I? Okay, now don't drop it this time. Okay, now this goes down on the far side of the spigot. Well, it came out of there. It has to go back in. It's catching on something. There we go. Okay, now I think that everything should be moistened so that these... Yeah, I think it's going to go. And it 
it sort of is. Just, let's just give it just a little bit of a wiggle here. All right, I, I think that's yeah. That's that's going to be all right once that glue dries. Okay, so uh, now I know what I've got to do here. Now the other square hole, I've already got some glue down in it, and uh, let's grab one of these pieces here. Okay. And we're just sort of doing a dry run here. And uh, maybe Tony's tweezers are just a little bit too heavy here. to drill those. Okay, I, I got it in the bottom hole. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I should check the monitor. Can you even see what I'm doing? sort of Oh, I keep, when I let go of it, I keep bumping it. You know what, I think maybe I should take my, one of my tiny drill bits and drill that hole, those holes out. that push this over so that it goes into the okay it's pretty much over the hole but it's not uh, you know if you feel frustrated think of how I feel it's just not melding enough there it's there okay it's 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 basically in the right place on the top on the top of the cylinder head just trying to wiggle it down there oh don't press too hard Okay, now we'll swing it around and try and get the... Why is this not going right? Uh...
Okay, I'm going to just push stop here and I'm going to find a drill bit. I don't know if, if it's going to be long enough to get past all this all this pipe work and just drill that hole out just a little bit. Although maybe that's not a good idea either. Maybe what I should do, let's, let's get this one back here. I think what's happening is my glue is evaporating. Okay. Now if it would just stay like that. wonder what these things were. Some sort of a little in ejector, you know, for ejector, in injector pump for the diesel fuel or something maybe? You know, it's pretty close, you know, you can see on the bottom there it's... Maybe if I was to moisten down on the bottom and then slide, slither it over. Um, I'm going to have to push stop here and try and fix this up off camera. Okay. Hello, Missy. Hello, Missy. Yes. How are you doing? How are you doing? You gonna let me sit down first now? Are you gonna let me sit down? I'm getting my chair ready. I'm getting my chair ready. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Oh, are we having the grand opening today? Well, I don't no. know. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Okay, I got these moistening for you. Now, we're not going to we're not going to get all of these because uh, this <clears throat> we don't want to make you sick. And they're all moistened for you. Yeah, you should like that. Oh, you're a lucky dude. Okay, I think, I think if I gave you one more, you'll have had about half of them here. Oh, that's a big one. Whoops. Oh, one on the floor. Well, you'll find it. Okay, now let's, let's save those. Let's save that. Now, we got to talk about this. Oh, she's going to go look for it. <coughs> Did you find it? It's there somewhere. Yeah, it's there somewhere. I saw it there. Oh, I see. It's under the table. Well, I'll you get to, it. You have to point to it. Uh, I'll, I'll get it later. Yeah, we'll get it tomorrow. Now, what we've got going on here, Missy. You want to back up there? What we've got going on here is uh, venison. Yes. That's going to be your treat for next time. She can smell it. She can smell the aroma of the venison factory attached to the inside of the package. Isn't that amazing, eh? Yeah. <coughs> now this this is courtesy one of your fans from way down south. Oh, oh, oh. Just blew his anonymity. Sorry. That's all right, I'll dump that out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he wanted anybody to know, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I, I was, uh, did I tell you that one of my viewers who, who had uh, been commenting almost regularly sudden, suddenly stopped after uh, he had made the comment that he was so sick he couldn't even watch television? And that was his, in his last comment. And what I, what I was thinking of is, um, do you have a YouTube channel of your own? Like, can you make a comment on YouTube? 
Well, if I want to. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. Okay, uh, so you, in other words, you're, you're registered with YouTube. I think so. Okay, because what I was thinking is if, <clears throat> if uh, something was ever to happen to me, mm -hmm. if, if you were to make a comment and you know, say, hey, I'm, I'm uh, Maxim, Ron's neighbor, uh, Ron died or <laughs> something to that effect, you know, so that the viewers would know. Because uh, otherwise, yeah. how would they know? Yeah, except you'll probably be making the comment about me. Oh, by the way, Max isn't here this morning. <laughs> well, well I, I, I mean, here's his jug of ashes. <laughs> okay. You and can I, tell it's him because Missy just peed on him. <laughs> I think we better cut this. Uh, <laughs> hey, Missy, come and say goodbye. Come, come and say goodbye. Yeah, come on, say goodbye. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. She says, well, this isn't any fun. But I can't get into the bag. She knows it's hers. <laughs> that's for next time, okay, Missy? That's for, that's for next time. Yeah. That's for next time. Missy Harris. Okay. It's a little cooler this morning. It is. It's a touch warmer in the sun, though. The sun is low, but there's warmth in it. On our way to the house there, Missy. Okay. Missy the dog. Missy the dog. There we go. Okay, back to this thing. Okay, I have uh, gone ahead and put on the second rocker arm as you can see here. And the, uh, I believe it's probably an injector pump, that's what I think it is. An old fashioned style. And uh, th this rod that you see going up and down, or should go up and down, probably actuates the, the pump, much like an old-fashioned fuel pump did in uh, the North American cars. They, they kind of work like that. Now, now th there's, a, there's a hole here, okay? And what we got to do now is put our last piece, which is this one right here. You see, you see it's got sort of a square peg, and, it, and it's got to go into this hole here. And I want to be very careful not to be forcing anything, because it's, it's going to very easily break off. So I'm hoping it's going to go down in there without too much difficulty because it's hard to hold on to here. Um, I'm, I may, I, I know I say this a lot, but I, I may have to do this off camera. I am wondering if maybe I should have put this piece in before I put in the fuel pump. Um, yeah, how can I get it? get it in onto that hole and then, then if I could just um, see I'm afraid if I grab onto it by the pipe here that's not working careful you don't break any more uh, taps off. I almost get it. I'm gonna have to get my angle different which means it's gonna be bad for you. You might not, in fact, I'm probably not gonna be able to show 
this this being put into place on camera because I have to sort of get myself right in there and I'm wondering if maybe I have to take and turn this whole thing over on its side a little bit that might work better for me for my uh, from from my perspective anyway but uh, we made a little bit of progress here today I was going to say this morning but it's far from morning Thanks for watching everybody, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>